welcome back to all things jira and i'm back with another menstrual cup review this review is on the salt cup before i get into the review make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel please leave a comment and please share i used the cup for two periods before i put together my review so this is the packaging that the salt cup came in the salt cup is made with medical grade silicone it comes in three sizes small regular and teen they also have the a soft version of the cup and that's the one that i got the price of the salt cups is less expensive than most other cups that i've seen i believe i paid 28 dollars i'll correct that if that's wrong i believe i paid 28 dollars for this cup you you can also get uh two cups you can also get a duo set and i believe that was 46 dollars so of course you get a lot of pamphlets you get the instructions on the cup it comes in a cute bag. And this is the salt cup. It's a little bit longer and a little bit wider than the Diva cup. Uh, this, this at the bottom is a little different. It's shaped kind of flat and has grooves on it. Also has some grooves down here for you to grip the cup with. The holes at the top are slightly different than, um, they're like angled versus the holes that go straight through on the Diva cup. The cup is extremely soft. I'm not sure how the regular cups are, but this is the soft version. Because the cup is a little bit longer and a little bit wider, it has a higher capacity. It can hold a little more than the Diva cup. And like I said, it is the soft version, so it's really soft and it was extremely comfortable. So with the first period that I used this cup on, I did have several leaks and I realized um, it's because this cup is a little bit softer. So you have to be more attentive with making sure that once you get the cup in that it's actually opened. You can use your C-fold, put the cup in and once it's in, you can either take your finger and go around the cup and make sure it's open. If it's not, you can just slightly turn the cup and it'll pop the rest of the cup open. But with this cup, you do the same thing with the Diva cup, but with this cup, I had to be a little more attentive and make sure that I really checked before I walked away because this cup, uh, I realized a few times that it hadn't actually opened all the way, which is why I had leaks. So a friend of mine uh, told me she has the same cup um, to make sure that the cup fully opens. So once I did that, I had no more problems with leaks with this particular cup. It, w it worked really well. With this cup, I did have an issue with getting the cup out in the morning. It wasn't impossible to get out. I wasn't afraid or anything like that. But it was like as I slept, the cup went higher. So when I got up in the morning to take the cup out, I couldn't quite get to it. The cup is softer, so it's a little harder to grip. It does have some like raised areas at the bottom that I'm assuming are for grip. But it was a little harder to get to them and actually grip the cup to pull it out. So what I would do is it, it would be first thing in the morning. That was the only time I had a problem with getting the cup out. So what I would do is I would either stop and maybe squat and try to get the cup out. If it still didn't come out, I would just stop. I would go ahead with brushing my teeth or what I was, whatever I was going to do and do my normal morning routine, wait about 20 or 30 minutes and then go back in and take the cup. I'm um, at that point, the cup kind of starts to move down back to where it was and you can, um, uh, go up there and grab the cup and pull it out. Um, it, it wasn't extremely difficult, but it wasn't as easy as my Diva cup. So um, at this point, um, because the cup is a higher capacity, um, it's really soft, it's extremely comfortable. I can slightly feel my Diva cup when I'm wearing it. It doesn't hurt or anything. I'm just aware that it's there. This cup, I didn't feel at all. Like you don't know it's in there at all. Um, <clears throat> so this cup is now my new favorite cup. So the company that makes salt cups, they actually make a donation every time you purchase a cup from them. And they make a donation to help other women um, in this country and other countries receive period products. So pretty much every time you purchase a cup, a cup is donated to another woman. Now you can actually go on their website and take a look and see how many cups they've donated at this point. Uh, you can also go on their website and uh, they have a quiz for you to take. If you're unsure on what size cup you should use, they have a quiz. It's just a few questions and it'll tell you what size cup you should get. On their website, they um, also have a counter that tells you how much waste and money has been saved by women uh, switching over to menstrual cups. 
Now, another thing that I purchased, um, I didn't purchase this from the Salt Company, but this is, I guess, a cup holder or a cup, a cup. I ordered this from Amazon and it is a folding cup. It's cup storage. So you just pop it open like this. Uh, you can put your cup in there to clean it. Um, I clean my cups with peroxide every once in a while. Of course, I clean it and I sterilize them in between uses. So you can actually do all of that in this cup. So you can uh, put your cup in, boil some water, pour the boiling water in the cup and let it sit overnight or sit for a few hours. Uh, you can pour peroxide in the cup. Um, you can pour peroxide in here with your cup um, and put the top on and let it sit overnight and it'll complete it'll clean your cup um, if your cup is starting to get stained which most most of them do uh, so when you clean your cup with peroxide it actually comes out looking brand new like you just bought it i only do that every few months this is not a paid promotional video so um, i spent all my personal money purchasing the cup and the cup holder i'll leave the links in the description though if you're interested in buying any of those um, I may have affiliate links in the description at that point. I'm not sure yet. So um, if I do, if you purchase a cup from my link, I will get a small amount from your purchase. So thank you if you decide to. But that's it. That is a short review for me. I love the salt cup. That is my new favorite cup. It's going to be my go-to cup. If you have not gotten into cups right now, I suggest maybe that you make the salt cup your first cup because it is so comfortable. If you are using cups and you're not using the salt cup, I suggest you try the salt cup. It is very, very comfortable. It worked really well. I'm really happy with that cup. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think, especially if you've tried salt cups or if you have a particular cup that you love and you want me to try or a cup that you're interested in and you would like me to try it out. So leave a comment below and let me know. Um, and other than that, I will see you all here next Wednesday with another video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.